Hi, Mariano Gomez here, Microsoft MVP and uh, the Dynamics GP Blogster. I want to share the excitement of uh, the GP 2015 developers preview release and uh, I think there's uh, plenty of opportunities for partners to begin familiarizing themselves with the product and uh, the service-based architecture components that are delivered with, um, with this preview. Um, preview can be found on partner source. However, um, I encourage you strongly to go over to Developing for Dynamics GP and read Kevin Racer's article on the, on the on preview notes uh, for, for this release. You can also find links to download the um, the different the different RAR files that will allow you to assemble the uh, VHD image that you're gonna need for uh, to load in Hyper V and get the um, environment up and running. Precisely today, my focus will be on uh, setting up that uh, VHD file and making sure it's uh, mounted properly on Hyper V for you. So the first thing here, I'm running Windows 8.1. Uh, but if you go to control panel and you go to programs and you go to um, turn on uh, turn Windows features on and off um, you will want to see and verify that Hyper-V is effectively installed in your system um, if you haven't had a chance to install it just click on the check mark and um, you know click the OK button and Windows will do the rest of the task for you which is basically load the Hyper-V components and uh, perform a reboot to make sure that everything is um, uh, properly installed. So once you have validated that Hyper-V is installed, or once Windows complete the Hyper-V installation, you can proceed to um, uh, load the Hyper-V manager. So I'm just going to scroll out here and go to Hyper-V manager. And uh, note that your local computer should be added to the list. If it's not added, you can just proceed to go uh, to uh, click on a uh, right click on the Hyper-V manager object and you're gonna select connect to server and select local computer this will automatically add your local machine to the Hyper-V manager images now the next step is to add the VHD file um, supplemented by Microsoft so you're gonna want to click on the um, the local machine and uh, you can right click on the machine itself and go to new and add a virtual machine because of the, um, uh, the we, we, because we have been provided with a virtual hard disk we first need to set up a virtual machine that's going to be able to consume that hard disk so we're just going to go ahead and hit next here we're going to give this a name and i'm going to call this gp 2015 dev preview just because um, I think it's uh, appropriate for the occasion. Now we're gonna just um, select the, store the virtual machine in a different location and I'm gonna just leave the default Hyper-V um, uh, location or path to the virtual machine. We're gonna hit next to continue. Because the file that we've been provided is a VHD, we must select generation one. Had it been a VH, VHDX, we could have selected generation two so for now we're going to select generation one hit next and as part of the startup process you figured uh, the virtual image is running um, windows server 2012 so we probably want to start with a good amount of memory just in case to ensure that uh, things are going to run uh, properly so for this case i'm going to just give it 8192 gigabytes or the equivalent of eight um, I'm sorry, megabytes are the equivalent of 8 gigabytes and I'm going to allow my machine to dynamically allocate the memory just in case. Then we're going to hit next. Um, we're going to skip the network configuration portion and uh, now we're going to locate the Hyper-V image uh, provided by Microsoft that we have previously assembled with uh, either WinZip or WinRAR, um, the WinRAR applications. I'm just going to go to Documents here, select, um, I'm sorry, Download, select um, Microsoft Dynamics GP Developer, and I have um, made a copy of that VHD file uh, as to not to have to use the original one just in case. So I'm just going to highlight that copy, hit Open, hit Next, and um, obviously I'm 
Hyper-V presents me with a summary for the virtual machine uh, uh, creation and I'm just gonna hit finish goes through and adds that virtual machine the next thing we must do is simply right click select uh, start and that's just gonna start up the virtual machine we have our preview window down here that is showing us what's going on so um, as soon as the process um, goes far enough along we can basically um, start working with our preview so as you can see the um, the image has been started up now the state is currently running so now I can actually double click on um, on the preview itself it's gonna open the uh, connect window and as you can see um, Windows Server is being initialized and uh, I'm gonna go to view and probably um, increase the size of the screen a little bit so while this initializes um, we can talk about a few other things that are gonna be key for you to uh, keep in mind um, this is a preview version so in essence it means that partners should not be attempting to deliver a new functionality at this point to customers or attempt to install the preview at a customer um, location um, obviously you run the risk of uh, things going haywire with your customer data and definitely you don't want to find yourself in that situation um, another thing to note from uh, Kevin's uh, article is you will find a link to a readme file that provides some preliminary information or some last minute information as to how you should be accessing that virtual machine so as we can see the uh, sign in user is Fargo GP user and we have a password that is provided to us as well which is GPS PW1 for that um, user and we can definitely um, access the system once um, our virtual machine is fully loaded with that information with that access information um, it takes a, a little bit of time to get going but um, as you can see what uh, Windows Server or what Hyper-V is doing at this point is initializing the devices and um, for now I'm just gonna use my for, uh, my first monitor so I'm just gonna connect and um, it's actually connecting to the dev preview um, machine at this point since time is of essence here we're just gonna let it continue working through and then um, I'm gonna switch over quickly to my article that I just released last night on the dev preview as well and as you can tell there's a few things that are are not um, currently available under this release which is the support for Harpe Media. Um, this particular design is not um, is not uh, you know implementing hypermedia at this point. But um, keep in mind that the exciting part of GP 2015 uh, Dev Preview is uh, the service-based architecture components that are um, that allow developers to basically write any integrating application on any platform to Microsoft Dynamics GP via some RESTful services. You can find tons of information about RESTful services on MSDN. Um, in particular, I like this uh, RESTful with WCF um, article that you can go through and, um, and, and take a read. And um, even more important is obviously the enhancements that Dexterity has gone through to provide um, dot net in, interop um, capabilities so yes the dexterity ID has been tremendously updated and um, and now you have the ability to call assemblies or to invoke dot net uh, methods and assemblies uh, references directly in your dexterity projects that gives us a couple advantages you can fully write your code in Sanskrit if you like or you can actually um, work your code from dot uh, net so some of the um, some of the resources you have you could currently um, go to again develop developing for dynamics GP and read over on Alice Newsom's um, dot net in Europe article so um, you basically want to uh, have a chance to take a look at those um, developer insight articles that have been posted on 
developing for Dynamics GP. At this point, I'm going to take, take a look at the state of our um, initialization here. So our Windows Server is actually almost fully initialized. And at this point, we, we're only waiting for uh, that process to complete. So we'll give this some more time. And, um, and um, once, uh, once you, you get to the um, desktop, once you get to the Windows Server desktop, you will want to have uh, those credentials provided in the README file that I previously um, uh, downloaded from Kevin's article and, um, and get that password uh, into the system for that Fargo GP user account. So with that said, um, I'm going to basically, uh, you yeah, know, here we go, Fargo user. And um, the password, as we previously said, was GPSPWD1. Uh, password is obviously case sensitive. So we're going to access the um, desktop at this point. Okay, our desktop has been uh, initialized for us. And as you can tell, there's a, a few um, folders that are critical for you to go through. And, um, but more importantly, some documentation. So you have access to some example um, requests um, of uh, data using the services. Okay. You also have uh, some general information, which is nothing more than uh, a you know, summary of the file that was previously uh, downloaded from um, from Kevin's article with some uh, last minute instructions. And uh, you also have some additional documentation as to the preview itself in Adobe format. Okay, so it's important that you look at all this documentation before you get started in understanding the, the system. Uh, the first thing you will probably need to do is visit the services because there's a service in here which is the um, Dexterity, I'm sorry, the GP Dexterity service default instance that needs to be initialized. So you go ahead and start that up. And that's the uh, extent as to what I'm going to cover today. Um, I will continue producing a, seri as a series of, vi of video um, recordings on um, my experiences with this. But tomorrow I'm going to attempt to, well, actually, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to attempt to load an article or a video article that shows how to load this Hyper-V image on uh, Windows Azure. Thank you very much. And... Um, See you soon. Enjoy the um, enjoy the weekend and enjoy uh, playing with the uh, GP 2015 Dev Preview.